Hi, I'm Doug Creed with Digital Design Solutions, and we make custom printed dry erase marker boards. And many of our boards, most of our boards, go into hospitals. This one came back. It's ruined. And we're going to talk a lot about, in this video, how these boards get ruined. This board has turned gray. You really can't clean any of this off very readily. Uh, I wrote on this with a dry erase marker pen, the word test, and we'll see if it erases. Well, it doesn't erase, it ghosts. And the reason it ghosts is that this board is scratched, covered with micro scratches, and also you can actually see circular and just unidirectional rubbing patterns where somebody has used something abrasive on it. It's no longer usable for the purpose it was intended, and neither our customer nor ourselves are happy about it. This is a board that shows what happens when a dry erase board is used in a hospital. This side of the board has been cleaned, before I wrote on it, with a disinfectant wipe, which is, has hydroxides in it, and which suds up and leaves a soap scum, literally, on the board. It's what's used in, many, in, in, in hospitals, this is an alcohol wipe, isopropyl alcohol. This side has been cleaned with alcohol. And on this side, and then the test was written in it. On this side, if you wipe it off, it'll erase. On this side, if you wipe it off, it get, the ink gets caught up in the scum, in the foam, the hydroxides that are part of the disinfectant wipe. Now this can be cleaned off but we already have a problem where a board is starting to go gray. And once it starts to go gray, if it's not clean, if it's cleaned off with, with more disinfectant wipe, there's more soap scum, more ink attached, and eventually what starts to come in to the picture are these products. This is a 3M scouring pad, this is a 3M sponge with a, a 3M pad on the side, and of course this stuff has been around for a long, long time. This is an abrasive cleaner. There's a number of different kinds of abrasive cleaners. All of these, if these two pads are used on this board dry to get rid of this, the first time it's used, the board will be scratched. This will take a few more applications, but in a week or two, the micro scratches that this will cause will start to ruin the uh, we find out uh, what happens to these boards if they're not if they're not handled correctly, and we know what materials not to use on them that will damage them and ruin them. What do we use on them that that'll uh, that'll work well and for a long time? One is a dry erase pen. Use a dry erase pen, not a sharpie. Not a sharpie. Sharpie is a permanent marker, and uh, won't come off easily. Only come off with a cleaner. And now what do we use to erase? Well, we use a dry erase eraser. And the deal here is that it needs to be clean. After a couple months, it's going to be full of, of dry erase dust, and it's going to just spread a lot of ink all over the place. Or a soft cloth. This microfiber cloth is great. can be washed an innumerable number of times to get the dust out of it. And then what about cleaning? If the ink has been on the board for a day or sometimes overnight or for a couple of days, and that all depends on the marker or on the pen that you use. You know, in order to get it completely clean, you might need to clean it. Well, certainly we can use any of the approved manufactured dry erase cleaners, but they're likely not to be around. Chances are they're not going to be around. So use alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol out of a bottle or isopropyl alcohol wipes. That'll clean it off, and you'll be able to use your board for a nice long time won't turn gray and you'll be happy that you got it. Give us a call if you have any questions about any of this or if you run into something that we haven't covered. Our number is 800-691-2044.